What is U-Drain? U-Drain is a slotted, pre-engineered floor drainage system that can be used in most any drainage application. We have commercial U-Drain, which is this system here, which is pre-sloped, and I'll explain that in a little bit. We also have the residential U-Drain, which is used more in uh, residential uh, uh, situations with car garages, uh, drainage in front of car garages, or in this case, where we do have a half inch slot, in high walkway areas for the public. So U-Drain is a very simple, easy to install, efficient system. As opposed to some of the other systems out there where you may wind up with warpage, cracking, chipping, with U-Drain, because of its heavy gauge steel, galvanized design, it's going to show up the job site in one piece, it'll show up straight, and it'll show up with everything available for you to put the system together. There's three basic components to the U-Drain system. One is the sump, and I'll describe the sumps a little bit later on. One is the actual drain pipe itself, and one is the adapter plate that adapts different lengths to your sump. system does not have the adapter plate as it isn't pre-sloped, so each section, which come in five foot sections, simply bolt together with either an end cap or an end cap with a stub. These will bolt directly onto the residential sump, and the residential sump, as a rule, is 12 inch by 12 inch by 12 inch. So one of the first components I want to talk about is the sump. Now the sump comes in the commercial range in three separate sizes, 18 inch by 18 inch by two feet deep, or we have two foot by two foot by two foot deep, or we can also go three foot by three foot by three foot deep for larger, heavier drainage applications. Each sump will come with either a single inlet, or a dual inlet, or a triple inlet. That allows us to be able to spider web out in different directions so that if you have applications where you have your main drainage in one part of your shop but you do want to catch a different section of the shop, we can actually accommodate that depending on the outlets we have in the cell. Now you'll notice also that we have a significant depth to the inlet here and that's based on the fact that we can run up to 120 feet in one direction and each section will have a half an inch slope coming back towards the cell. While the top stays nice and level with your screed shots, the bottom slopes down back towards the sump over here. So now this one is based on 120 foot run as you're dropping half an inch for every 10 foot length that you're going out. If you're going with a 20 foot run, you'd be coming down about seven and five eighths inches for the initial 10 foot piece and then another half inch for the next 10 foot piece and another half inch for the next 10 foot and so on, building down towards the 120 foot mark. Now, to cover up the excess, we have this adapter plate. And the adapter plate is basically bolted onto here and it matches up exactly with the inlet from your drain line. Now, on the other side, we have the outlet for the excess water. And that outlet is four and a half inch OD on the commercial system. And that matches up to the outside circumference of a four inch ABS or PVC pipe, the plumbing pipes. So that'll match up exactly to this. All you use is a Fernco coupling. You slip the Fernco coupling on here, slip the ABS or PVC pipe into there, tighten up the hose clamps, and now you can shoot it to wherever you want to exit the building. Each one of the sumps also comes with the corner rebar ties. And these guys are on here so that when you set this thing down, it's, pref it's preferable that you actually pour a slab for it, but if not, as long as you've got your screenshot up here, and you've got your base fill over here, you can set it in there, pound rebar into your fill, and tie the rebar onto each corner of this, and that will hold this some steady while you're attaching your drainage pipes. We do have different lids for this. We have the standard checker plate lid. We also have the slotted lid. And we also have for very heavy commercial uh, applications, we have a graded lid. So now we're going to give you a brief overview of the drain lines themselves. When you're designing a drain system, you always start off at the far end. And you generally start off with what we call an end to A. The end is the far end of your drain, as a rule, and it's welded shut. So you always know this is going to be the far end of the drain. You'll notice the top will always stay nice and level, based on the screenshots that your concrete installers uh, have set up. 
But if you actually look closely at this, there's actually a slope going from my left hand to my right hand side at the bottom of the drain line. This slope is a half inch slope that's, that's built into each 10 foot section. What that allows you to do is to maintain flow from the far end of the drain all the way back to the sump. So each one of these sections comes with a bolt pack. The bolt pack includes the four bolts that are necessary to bolt this onto, this, onto either the sump or the next 10 foot section in the system. They also include the easy anchor systems here, which are a really unique part of our system here, in that you bolt it on, you drop a, a piece of rebar through into your fill, you, take, you lift or lower this section just to get your screed shot, and then all you do is tighten up this bolt, and it locks onto your rebar and holds this section steady so that you can attach the next section or begin your pour, knowing that this will stay in the spot where you want it to be. Now in this particular case, we've miniaturized two sections of our system here. We're basing this on 10 foot lengths. So on a 20 foot system, such as this, you would have two 10 foot lengths. So this section here is an N to A. This section here is an A to B. Now you'll notice that these two sections both have the A laser cut into the flanges. So you'll notice that the A over here should match up with the A over there. So all you do is when you're putting these together, you match up the alphabet. So this section has the B laser cut into it, and you have your adapter plate with the B laser cut into the bottom. So all you do is you have this adapter plate bolted onto your sump, you then bolt the B to the B, and now you've started your system. Once that's bolted together, it's rigid and firm, it's not going to move, and at that point you can, you can adjust your heights for your screed shots, You've got your first 10 foot section here, now you just bolt on the second 10 foot section, put your rebar through your easy anchors, take your screed shot off of there, and you've effectively put together a 20 foot system in very, very quick time. I have talked to a variety of installers uh, that have said that they can install 20 to 30 feet of this very comfortably in a half an hour. So one of the features I want to talk about is uh, our cleaning paddle. Very simple, very straightforward, but it makes the cleaning of this system incredibly easy and a very, very neat clean uh, uh, operation. The bottom of this paddle is cut to conform with the bottom of the, of the drain itself. So all you do is you put your paddle in between, drop it to the bottom of your drain, give it a quarter turn, and now all you do is you walk along your drain, scraping everything back to the sump over here. There's no brakes to lift out, there's nothing to get dirty with, and then when you're done, just simply lift the paddle back out, and it does come with a paddle hanger that you can hang on the wall and keep out of the way until the next time you need it. U-Drain offers the lowest maintenance system on the market. So comparing the U-Drain to other drains on the market, uh, let's take the graded drains as an example first. With the graded drains, you still have to form, either form out your trench or have it precast. You have grates in those drains. The grates have a tendency to wear down over time. As traffic goes over the grates, they do tend to buckle. To clean out those grates as well, you have to lift the grate out, you have to put it aside. You now have to push all the dirt and grime inside the trench back towards the sun pit. Then you put the grates back on, and on occasion, the grates are already twisted enough so that once you get them out, they're a really tough time getting back in. They're also, they, they tend to rust a little bit faster than a lot of the systems out there do, and they're very heavy to work with. So, with this system here, you have no grates. When it comes to cleaning it out, you're not lifting anything out. You're just simply putting the paddle in, you're walking along a dry concrete floor and pushing this, the silt back towards the sound. There's nothing to put back after you're finished doing that. And with our flush nozzle, it cleans it out as well. If we go to the plastic drains, the plastic drains come in shorter sections, so they're much more difficult to line up in a nice straight line. With our system, you have 10 foot runs. They're straight, they're true. With the plastic systems, when you've got the three foot sections or the five foot sections, you do have a multiple connections that you have to make sure are absolutely in line with each other. Otherwise, as most of you run into, when you're looking down that drain, you do get the little variations as you come to the different joints. Also, they have been known to show up cracked, broken, or chipped. 
And even if they're installed, if you drop something heavy on them, they can still crack, break, or chip. Also, the screens that go on the top of a lot of the plastic drains are threaded in with screws, and I have talked to people that say the screws, when you take them out and you put them back in after you've cleaned out the drain, tend to cross-thread, and that becomes an issue all on its own. With this, you have no screws to remove, you have no grates to remove, you have no screens to remove. It's all inside the system itself, and a very clean system. Ease of maintenance, simple installation, sleek design. This makes U-Drain the premier line of drains in the market today.